Hi Richard, welcome to Roseville, California. How are you doing Richard? Thank you very much for, uh, it's great to meet you actually, Yash. It's been a long time. It's uh, been many, many years we've been talking on the phone and the first time face to face. So Awesome, definitely. I'm so much happy to see you personally. It was been such a long time we were not able to talk in person on the team, Zoom calls uh, for so many years. Great to meet you in person for sure. Uh, it's for sure, it, it's a long travel for you. It has been a long trip this particular occasion, unfortunately, but yes, finally made it here. I was actually over here for TechCon over in Orlando and uh, I've come over um, to see the extended team over here in uh, Roseville and I'll be heading off down to uh, uh, San Jose tomorrow to see the rest of the team. Awesome, so welcome to uh, Roseville, California. I know you have been, uh, for the last few years, you have been solving many customer challenges. Uh, can you just tell us what are the three key challenges you have solved last one year and uh, name some of the uh, verticals and also see if we can name some of the products, what we really release to those customers? Yeah, sure. So one of the interesting problems that came up recently, a customer was looking to um, uh, uh, refresh their data center. Um, so this was an Australian university. Um, they had had the same products in place for, I think, getting over 10 years now, which is really pushing the limit somewhat, I think. Um, but they were very keen on making use of some of the new technologies, so talking about Spine and Leap in this particular occasion. And so we had just introduced the new CX9300 switch, so the 400 gig switch. Yep. Um, and we are able to partner that with the um, release not long before that CX10000, so this is part of our new um, distributed services architecture, and so this is the, uh, this, the distributed services switch, and the CX10000. Um, and so partnering those together gave them a solution that allowed them to refresh the data center and introduce a significant number of new capabilities around security and visibility. Um, and so they will eventually uh, integrate uh, the CX10000 with uh, some Splunk um, systems that they have awesome. and also uh, with some uh, CrowdStrike systems, hopefully. So that would be a, a very nice thing to see. And then towards the other end of the spectrum, um, we had a customer who was in uh, manufacturing in uh, Southeast Asia um, and they had been a long-term Aruba customer but in the factory, um, in their warehouse space, um, they had other vendor equipment um, because of the more extreme environment that that was in um, and so we were able to uh, extend the Aruba um, uh, equipment, the, the, the Aruba uh, ESP story uh, into their data house, into their uh, uh, warehouse, and into their um, uh, factory environments uh, with the new CX40, well, newish, the, the CX4100 I industrial ruggedized switch. Awesome. So you have sold uh, for a big uh, university 9300, the 400 gig uh, switch, which we recently launched the CX9300, and also CX10000, which is a distributed switch where network as well as security comes together yeah, as a stateful services. And apart from that, you also covered the very nicely the ruggedized switch uh, that the manufacturing uh, customers are able to deploy with the Aruba ESP architecture. What a nice uh, complete that was the product. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So you you go to all the end of the 400 gig, and now you're also selling some of the uh, 4100 gig, uh, uh, 4100 i switch. Awesome. So just for the audience, uh, those who are hearing from the, across the globe. Uh, uh, you also take care of many countries as a regional PLM and uh, can you just tell us like what you do in the regional sure. PLM role? So, uh, I'm the, uh, the regional uh, product manager for Aruba branded switching in APJ, so Asia Pacific and Japan. Um, and so that includes uh, South Pacific, that includes Korea, Japan, China um, and Southeast Asia, uh, Taiwan and Hong Kong um, and India. So there's a, a big spread of, of countries and a lot of different languages and a lot of different um, you know, cultures and expectations and you know, variations and things, so that's always exciting. Awesome. Um, so my role as, as a PLM is to cover off three things really. The first one is to do the new product introductions. Um, the second one is to look after um, the, the management of customer requests and so on um, and you know, trying to balance what we can do, what, we, what we're going to do, what's on the roadmap and then making sure that lines up um, as best we can. And then the last thing is to do the 
um, the, the product um, evangelization, the, the training and so on, the updates for uh, both our salespeople and also for the partners. Yep. And, and the partners actually is probably one of the most important parts of, of what we do and how we interact because we are a partner-driven company. Yep. Um, we, we sell through partners and that's a really important part of the story that we have. Absolutely. I think amount of support from you for all the partners has been great and uh, I'm sure you, they're enjoying your uh, technical strength. And thanks for all the input you provide over the years to make the CX product set uh, over a very big product set all the way from the, as you said, from the regularized switch. The recently we launched a 6200 platform, as you know, and now there's a new addition of 8100, which you can sell percent, for yeah. uh, your uh, uh, data center portfolio where you have one gig, 10 gig connections and also on the campus aggregation because it supports uh, VSX, uh, Aruba VSX feature. And uh, thanks a lot. And it's been a long trip for you. I uh, wish you a happy time with our extended Aruba family in San Jose. Thank you. Looking forward to meeting everybody else as well. So uh, thank you. We, we had a good lunch today. We went out to uh, it's, it's Cinco de Mayo um, in uh, in California today. So we had Mexican lunch today. Oh, nice. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed that uh, big burritos, which I had. Uh, it was not a, a good option for me because most of the time Mexican food and Indian food you have some similarities, but this burrito was completely a huge one. <laughs> uh, we enjoyed that one. <laughs> Thanks a lot anyway. Thank you very much, uh, wish, wish you a safe flight. It was a big, big journey for you. It was indeed.